Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome to Farmtown, my brand new series here in City Skylines 2 where we're building our very own town all based around the farming industry. We're going to pretty much set up a small community that will live, work and kind of entertain themselves around this farming community and with the goods that we produce it's what we're going to sell to the whole world to fund the town town's economy now this this series is going to be exciting for many things one i've actually created this map myself using some mods and the in-game editor i've created this huge beautiful big sprawling plains right now with a big big river which we can utilize to fertilize all the land uh, to grow all different kinds of farming products uh, we've got some big mounds around the edges too depending on how far we kind of decide and where we're going to build so we've got a couple of options on what we can do to make some money but the main gist the main kind of point of this series is to build a farming town we're going to set up a small little town. Now, this series is not about building the world's biggest town. I'm not going to do that like what I'm kind of almost slightly doing in Falls Town right now. We're going to build a small community and utilize it to kind of build this huge farming industry around it. I'm going to try and get as many exports as we can and all different types of products that come from the farming industry we're going to create to create mass exports. We're going to have a solid, strong economy, but first, we must build the town. We bring the people, and the rest will follow. So if this series is something that you guys think you might enjoy, if it's something that you want to see more of, if you're excited and want to see more episodes of it, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when more episodes of farm town do come out now we've got a few things we got to do and the challenge is i'm probably most likely not going to be able to build any farming land at this time in this first episode and that's mainly down to the fact that i've got it all set on that we need to unlock everything now we haven't even named the city just yet and i believe if i'm not mistaken we don't unlock farming until we get to a grand village uh, the ability to have grain farming, which is our first one. And then does it start? Then we get vegetable farming. So it's not until Grand Village that we have the ability to do any farming whatsoever. So we need to first focus and spend some time on pretty much building up the community. Now, it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be really, really interesting, this. And uh, we've pretty much got it set up where only one road runs from one side of the region to the other. There's no trains, there's no planes, there's no boats. All this stuff is what we will have to fund ourselves with all the exports going out of the region. Now, we've got a bridge that does cross the river, and we've got vehicles already making it well, their way through. So I'm in this kind of huge plains flatlands right now with literally nothing for miles and miles and miles. We're about to go where no man has gone before and build our farming industry. Oh, I'm excited, boys. I am excited. So... We are going to begin then. We're going to kind of begin this with our nice fresh start. So I've kind of designed it where we have this highway road. It's like a two lane. It goes through. And if you notice, it does this little bend. It goes to the right and then back in. I'm hoping that I can use this little ditch here to build or start building the town within it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road that goes straight there, which pretty much bypasses all of this, but that will be a normal road. And I'm hoping the vehicles understand that the highway is faster, so they choose to go this way rather than driving through. And then the highway becomes the bypassing route to the town. It kind of reminds me of old school mining towns in America, where like, you know, like Tombstone and, um, is it Dead Deadwood? Or dead, dead, I can't remember what the, the town, the, the famous towns are, where the town's built and then the highway comes through, but then they've had to make the highway bypass around the town to continue on. Uh, but if you went on the main route, you can see where the old route used to be. That's what we're going to be pretty much building. So let's begin then. We're going to start by setting up then the road layout for our own town itself. Now we're going to find where it connects in, which is here. And I'm going to run this up. So actually, let me try and get this in a straight line first. I'm going to run that just to there for a moment. And then we've got to pick a spot in where this is going to kind of connect in. So I reckon we pick... Actually, let me just see where this runs first. Because you can see where this is going to run and where it's going to snap. It's going to go pretty much to, to, to there. So if I get this to snap first... 
Now this is what I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited to kind of build this little town right now. Bring it to there and we'll bring it to about here. And then we'll kind of try and bend it to mimic where the this is I'm treating this as the original road and that's the new road even though it's kind of built there beforehand. So let's find out then where the best positioning would be to create the bend. So that's a 145. So I'll go from there to another 145. 144, we can do with that. Uh, where it bends and it kind of then connects out. So if I run this then straight in. And where's the best way to do it? It's about there by the looks of it. Straight in like that. We then have our little connection to it. So this is the original road tearing through the place. And we do the same to this. So I'm just kind of seeing where it actually connects to. Right, I think it might be best if I do it the opposite way. Because I can run the grid as close as I need it to. Like that. Beautiful. So I'm hoping that they don't drive down this road. And I want them to stick to the highway. Because I want the highway to be the bypassing route. Now, all logic in my brain says this is going to be the quicker route because of the speed limit. But I bet you some vehicles will still utilize and use this road. But there we go. This is the original road for the town that we're now going to build off it. And this is the bypassing highway to kind of go around it. So what? how much XP do I need then to get to the next stage? I need 750. Okay, very good. So let's start by building this small little community. So I'm going to pick a random spot, which will go here, and we'll bring this up. Now, I'm not worried about how I build and the chaos and all that kind of jazz, because at the end of the day, right, it's going to be a small population, so we shouldn't really see that much traffic. So I go by 112, 112, 112. Do you reckon that is a reasonable space for the grid network? Because I'm, I'm thinking, like, this is going to be, like, a, an American-style town. I do have right-hand traffic on. So that's something that I've got enabled on this game. So it's not the British version like I did in, in my Fool's Town series. And let me also get this set up as well. So that's one, two, three, and connect them. So the, the bigger the gaps, the less the traffic has to back itself up uh, for each junction. Now, I wonder if I can get one more in. So one two three there we go and i want to see if i can get one more in as well just so i can kind of understand where my limit is gonna be two and three now it doesn't mean that i have to stick to this because i can kind of come off it in all different types of ways but it gives me the option now to kind of uh, do some some pretty cool stuff with it so come out to about there and i'll do one more now, I don't know whether I'll do additional connections to it. That's going to be an interesting thought process, isn't it? So if I come out to about here as well, and then bring you down, and then me in the middle. So this is where I have to make the decision right now. Is this layout what I want? Or do I want to kind of shorten it to give us more roads, more flexibility, and for it to feel like it's bigger than what it actually is? I think the answer to that is yes. Yes, yes, yes. So if I go by 120, 120, and then cut all the way down, we'll do it like this instead. This will be the better setup for us, boys. This will be the better setup. So I'll just delete to there, which I'm assuming it's going to be actually two where that currently thing ends. So one. No, it's actually a little bit more. Bam. Because... <sighs> You can go in one of two ways. You want, if you want, if you're building something vast, go big. But if you want to build something that feels like it's got a little bit of depth, just go a little bit smaller. You can kind of get a little bit more out of this. So bam, bam, bam. Now all this building is giving me some slight XP, but it's not enough XP to, for it to actually make any major difference at the moment. So if we go to there, and then we'll come off here as well. And I, I won't go too far because this is the start of my city, or my little town, I should say. It's the start, so I'm not expecting too much to be going on within this area. But bring it out to there and to there. Now, as we get further out, we will then start to sprawl it out. And we will slowly come away from the grid format. But this is our, our little start. Now, it's going to need water, power, sewage, all the stuff that's required to run a basic little city or a town. So, we'll start with power. 
Now, I could bring it from outside the region, but we're isolated at the most part. We're in the middle of nowhere, so we can't bring it outside at the minute. But I could harvest the power of the wind. Now, the wind's pretty strong, so we should be able to get um, some decent... I mean, I could also think about putting it up a slight hill. Actually, you know what? I'm quite in a little bit of a flat area at the moment, so the wind speed's not the best. But having a wind turbine should at least be all I need for now, right? All I need for now. So if I place the wind turbine just there, and then we'll connect this underground to the road. So that should give us a little bit of power right now. Now, I know we need water and sewage, but I'm going to do a little bit of zoning and see how far we can pretty much get. So I've got a couple of options. I could fill the grids, let the uh, houses build up as they want. Or I can kind of build small little sections. Now, I think for this bit, this is going to be the most dense the town's ever going to be. So I reckon we... I reckon we just kind of fill the grid for now. And we'll do half and half here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That will leave six left over. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. And then we'll do a little bit of residential there. Okay, so we'll let that build up then. So the reason I'm placing that in now is because I can instantly see what I'm missing when it comes to the city's needs. So we need to take care then of water and sewage. So water then, we've got a couple of options. I could maybe do a water tower. Um, I could do the ground pumping station, which is some big juicy water um, sections. Is that what you want to call it? <laughs> Uh, around here or I could bring it or pump it from the actual river itself now I think a water tower might be the way to go forward I'm not actually too sure how much consumption we're going to need but a water tower reminds me of what you kind of mainly see um, when you're going to like small towns like this so I think we'll drop the water tower just here there we go it reminds me of an actual old school town in the United States so the water tower's in and it can hold a grand total of, or have a water output of 30,000. So hopefully that will do us some justice. Now, sewage, the only option we've currently got for sewage is pumping it into the river. So I think I'll pull it as far away as I possibly can. And then just run some sewage pipes underground. To the town. And then we'll, we'll call it a day on that. So, power, water, sewage are now pretty much all taken care of. We'll have a little bit of a fast forward and try and get some of these buildings all built. Now, enough time has passed by for us to now know that they do not use... Oh, oh no, people are moving in. Enough time has now passed by for us to know that the highway is the quicker option to go around the town. So we don't have to worry about the road and too much traffic congestion coming through. So how much more XP is now required? So we're not that far off right now, which will unlock a few decent things. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting. But we're letting the town build up itself. Now, as we start to sprawl out, I will then start doing smaller houses, smaller zoning and all that kind of jazz. We just got to get set up what we can get set up first and try and get us to unlocking the farming as quick as possible. So we've got this little community right now. We've got some commercial down, which the commercial is the only way people are currently getting jobs. That's the only way that they can currently um, find work and um, be able to afford their rent. It's literally the only thing they can do. So we'll cover this with some more residential and we'll go half of this as well. And I might as well just cover that little bit too. So I'm going to spend all of that residential demand as much as I can to build a small little community within here. So nothing too crazy. Nice and simple. Should do the job. Now it does require some industry, which at some point we will need to build a little bit of industry. Uh, but the main industry is going to be based around farming. Because the factories turn the farming products into the next type of product. Whether it's kind of food beverages all that kind of jazz so we will need a bit of that but that's something that we'll plan for a little bit later so let it all do what it's got to do now stuff like this we can kind of change up a little bit 
that's trying to get them to kind of fill all the little nooks and crannies as easy as possible. But the population's now slowly climbing, and I think, before we know it, we are going to hit the next milestone. So while we kind of then wait, we need to think then about doing a few little extensions to the area. Now, coming off this, the distance is 224. So 224, and then we'll go... Oh, do I go in, or should I kind of, for now, just sprawl it out? So I can do another grid here. Oh, there we go. Tiny town. Nice, nice, nice. And I can sprawl it out. I can go like halfway. Because I don't know whether I'm going to actually physically connect it to all of this highway. I don't know whether that will be a good idea or not. Um, I think for now we'll just kind of keep it as it is. I think we'll go halfway there. And bringing you down to here. So this is all gaining me a little bit of XP right now. So we'll go to about there. So let me know what you think. Should I connect it to this bypassing highway? Do you reckon that's a good idea? Or literally leave it separate? I mean, it would be nice to kind of connect it because then that would almost become central in a weird way, wouldn't it? It would. So we've also now unlocked the medium density, which we can slightly take it to the next level, but we'll get onto that a little bit later. So, we've now moved to a uh, tiny village, which is perfect. We've unlocked additional map tiles, a city budget, statistics, all this good stuff. Uh, medium density row housing and medium... Uh, oh, European and North American. Now, we are zoning, if I'm not mistaken right now. Uh, we want to be zoning solely North American style. So, I'm not sure if these are North American style or whether we just had both styles currently selected. But we are in a North American kind of a uh, setting, to say the least. Now, we need a little bit more commercial, so we'll throw some more commercial down. We'll go for this little strip here. Let them build up. And I think eventually, what we placed in now, we will eventually replace this with a little bit of medium density. I can't see us having any high density, because that would be a little bit too much. Uh, but this will be the most dense it will ever be, then it will just kind of uh, just sprawl out. So... Let's kind of see what a little bit of medium density would look like. Now, it's row housing, which is a little bit different. What does a North American row housing style look like? If I just kind of quickly pause, if I delete this here, and if I rezone it, if I rezone, for example, here, does it build there? It does. I just want to see what a North American style row housing looks like. So we'll give that time to build real quick and see what kind of we get out of it. So we will need a little bit of industry. And I think uh, I think we should kind of like maybe push it down here a little bit for a little bit of industry. So our grid will continue. So moving this down then, this is our 224, which I'll come up by 120. And we'll do a 224 again. And we'll have to move the uh, wind turbine. And then another 224. And just come slightly out. So I don't know what to do. You know what? No, we're going to go all the way through it because this is how the city is. This is how the city works. So if I go to there and then run this. Let's just go to there with that one. Pushing this through. Or get a connection to there and then slightly continue it I'm like this is it doesn't seem much but I'm liking how this is already going to start expanding so do I keep the industry within the city or do I kind of build it like say for example we kind of set up a little area over here somewhere it kind of makes a little bit of sense and I kind of want to do it like this is the only road in the area. I don't want to come off and build an industrial area. I want it to be, this is it. So I might do a gravel, do I do a gravel road? As they pull into this little side access area. Uh, 104, so this is completely different now. This is going to be a completely different setup to how we've got it going on down there. And coming off of that, because I want the zone in to touch. And I reckon we go to about here. And then 
if I go up enough to where I can just figure out where this is going to go. And I can set up a little bit of a uh, industry. So if I kind of make this go a little bit further, I can do little roads that kind of cut in to make it look a little bit different. I can shorten some areas. I can slightly extend others. And we can build a little bit of an industrial area there. That's slightly out of town on dirt roads. I kind of like the idea of that. So not too crazy. We'll kind of begin by building, let's say, let's go for like a factory there. I can do one then here, do one there. So this is something a little bit different, right? Something a little bit different. Now, that already spends the industrial demand, and the pipe work and stuff does not reach. So, I can extend this going down. Or I can actually bring it from here underground. Oh, I've just realized. I, I should have done it. The double pipes. Right, is that enough to connect? Or does that no longer work? Right, we'll redo it, because I may have made a, a slight little boo-boo. <laughs> may or may not, may not have made a slight little boo-boo. Right, that gives it the water, but it doesn't quite have the power. Now, I don't have the ability to unlock the road tools just yet, so all the power is going to have to also go underground. And we'll bring it, can I bring it along this as well? Is that enough to connect? It is. The factories are now operational. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a nice little humble start. I like it. I do like it quite a bit. So, little humble start right now. Things are going really well. And we are, how far are we now through Small Village? We're actually more than halfway, which is exciting. Now, how did that, that row house look? Do you know what? That's pretty decent. I want more of these now. To build up our little bit of density. I like that it can also utilize this whole little section. So that, that one's now built. We'll then kind of try and place them all in. And that's the biggest density we're going to have at the moment. It's pretty cool to see, right? Pretty cool to see. So we've got some more industry then. And we'll place a few more factories down then. So you can see my thought process right now in all of this. I don't want to build crazy over extravagant areas. It's mainly about building smaller little communities. That's what it's all about, boys. That's what it's all about. And once we build it up, it will look, look really, really nice. Really nice. So, we're on to the point where we can get uh, a little bit of garbage management. And we can also look at healthcare as well. But we'll hold out a little while still on all of this. We'll hold out a little while still. Now, even though they are requiring some type of medical facility... Um, we've got to think about where we're going with it and what we're going to be doing with all of this area. So, it's looking good so far. It's looking real good. We've got 154 citizens already in. And I'm going to reposition some of this stuff right now. So, I'm going to move the water tower just over to here. And I'll reposition the wind turbine. Oh, let's take a look. So, reallocate it. Now, I'm going to move it down by the industrial area over here. So, i just place it there real quick. Pause. Because I now need to kind of reconnect this stuff. And what upgrades can we do to the wind turbine? We could do the solar assist, which increases the output during the day. I've got a road tree, which again increases the power output. And what's that final one? What's this one here? We have the ability then to have, oh, a battery extension to store it when the winds are low. Hmm. So what is our power like anyway? We we don't require more than what we're currently producing, so we can, again, hold out for a little while and all of that. So let me just delete then the original wires that were underneath. Very good. Very good. So I know not much has really happened right now, but let's take a look at our kind of... Um, oh, I can't look at our production. i got to wait for Grand Village. Okay. Scrap that idea then. <laughs> Scrap that idea. So I think what I'll do now 
is I'm going to replace a lot of this kind of lower density stuff right now with, with these row houses in these locations. So that builds in. We'll go the full distance right now because I want to start bulking up in this area. Like I said earlier, this is going to be the most dense the area is going to be. So that's kind of what I want. We'll throw in a little bit more commercial as well. It's becoming a nice little shopping little strip here. This is the main drag, as you can tell, the main drag of the area. Uh, industry will require more at some point. Let's wait for those demands to kind of change. But how much are we now losing a week? Okay, it's not that bad. We could afford some healthcare services. So we'll get ourselves a little medical uh, facility down. We'll kind of place it over here on the corner. There we go. So it's just off the uh, the main drag, just off by one, uh, just across. At the moment, it's, it's on the other side of the town. <laughs> Eventually, this will be in the town once we expand a bit more. But the medical facility is now in. It's already got some employees, got some pharmaceuticals on board. And I won't need to do any expansions just yet. Won't need to do any expansions just yet. We've got an ambulance appearing. And we will need to build um, some death care facilities as well. So this, the cemetery is quite a large building when you kind of look at it. It is quite a large building. So we've got to figure out where the best positioning for it would be. Now, I feel like over here would be a good idea. It's near our kind of medical clinic, but also near the waterfront as well. We had like a nice location to die <laughs> is the best way to put it. So let me extend this over by one and expand this as well. And then I'll push this back by another set. And I reckon we place it in between these two. So we can still kind of get around it. It's not fully at the back. And it fits beautifully just here. Gives me a little bit of space there to play around with some trees to fill up the area. And do something uh, in the behind it as well. So very simple. Very effective. But the healthcare and death care are now in, so the city can continue to thrive. Now, why are we not getting any uh, zoning here for this density? Oh, because I didn't zone it. So we're going to continue the, uh, the the fashion right now of setting all this up. So get rid of all of this. It's going to be a constant change. A lot of people forget that when you build a city, some people forget when they put lower density down, they forget at some point you will need to upgrade it to higher density. And instead, they just build new areas with a new density and leave the lower areas. So go all the way through right now. And it's good because this is all backing on to the commercial. So it kind of fits in quite nice. So put them on both them sides there. And then once that demand kind of keeps building, we'll keep on going. So we're on our second milestone right now, which we're now technically two milestones away from getting any type of farming in the game. So, we've just unlocked them. Uh, where are we on to now, by the way? We've just unlocked... Ooh, education. And and slightly larger medium density as well. So, education's a good one. We'll hold out for education for, for just a moment. I don't need to make any smarty pants just yet. Because <laughs> it's going to be low education jobs. Mainly when we get the uh, the industrial farming stuff all set up. So we'll go a little bit further on the uh, the commercial right now, and we'll kind of extend down this way as well. Now, it's the main setup this is for our commercial down this big strip. So place all that down, let it do what it's got to do. And we've got a little bit of industrial demand. Now, to be honest with you, there's a lack of labor. They can't find enough employees. So I think it's more of a case we just need to continue building up the industry. Now, is it worth us taking a slight little look at medium density? Like, for example, if I dezoned all of this here and I deleted it, what do we get out of medium density there? Like, the larger one? I want to see what... Oh, there we go. One big building. I want to see how big this one singular building is going to become. Because it then is going to help me judge how big or how small we currently go. So we'll allow that to do what it's going to do. We've got some lower density as well. We can keep spending all that. So fill that in within here. Fill it all the way over here. Our population's nearly at 500. So I'd be quite excited to see where it goes. 
All righty, boys. All righty. So, the man's creeping back up again. How long has this got left to build? A little while yet. Depending on how big that goes, depends on what I build on this side. So, we'll see what we can get with. The town's actually hustling and bustling right now. Have you noticed it? We got a little bit of hustle and bustle on the go. Now, do you reckon that's way too big for the... I'm going to let you guys decide this in the comment section down below. Is this too big for the farming area? Or for our farming town? Is that too big of a density? Or should I just keep it down to this style? Because this is the most dense it's going to be. After that, it's all going to be low density stuff. Do you, find, do you think that's way too much density? I'll leave it for now. And I'll let you guys decide in the comment section down below. But industry's coming back in right now. Now we've got more and more people moving in. We can now place down a little bit more industry around here. So we'll go for a decent sized factory just there. Smallish one there. We'll do a small one there. Go for a nice juicy one there. I'm just kind of slightly build that area up right now. Amazing. Amazing. And we've got more commercial coming in too. They're already complaining about the high rents. <laughs> Guys, you've literally just moved in. You've literally just moved in right now. Now, can we see... What stuff can we actually now see at this point? Can we see, like, unemployment? It's 0.2%. So we're squeezing some more commercial. They're just loving the commercial at this point, aren't they? They are loving the commercial at this point. Alright, let them build all that up. Get all that done. The demand is pretty much all spent. And then we'll get in the rest of this row house in just behind as well. There we go. Right, while we wait, let's sprawl out some more of these roads. Now, 224 is the connection. To continue the grid. There we go. We'll build down our next little layer. And then we'll just run these across. There we go. Oh, we need some more power now, boys. We now need some more power. All right, just sprawling these out slightly. Making some longer than others. Right, now we need some more power. So this is now not adequate enough. So rather than building a second one, then, what if I spent 15,000 in building an advanced rotor system? The wind speed's too low. Solar panels? Does it, Will it do much? Now, it slightly ups... Why? It really ups our production. That really upped our production right there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, that will satisfy us just for now. Very good. Now, look at the, look at the town already. It already looks pretty good, doesn't it? It already starts to look really, 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 really good right now at this point. But... There's still a lot more we've got to do. There's still a lot more that we've got to do. I mean, we're going to be uh, approaching on a thousand citizens at some point. So we've really got to get through to this next area. Oh! Tell a lie, guys. I thought grain farming was at Grand Village. It's actually livestock farming, the first one. We're actually pretty close from being able to set up our first livestock farm. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> This is going to be pretty good. This is going to be pretty good right now. Okay, I'm excited. I am excited. Now, I think I will connect roads to this. Because they will eventually go just through like this. But I'm not going to do too many. Because that will then eventually lead over to some farming land and stuff like that. But I don't want to do too many connections. I want to keep it all as free-flowing as we can potentially make it. Now, we have no garbage facilities in here, but at the moment, they'll take the garbage out of the region. 
So I don't need to worry too much. So I think one final thing we'll get in right now is I will provide them with basic elementary needs. I'll place in a, a very, very simplistic and basic elementary school, which I will build. I'm going to build it. I don't know how big to actually build this. Because I would like, I like the idea of also being able to add the additional stuff on the school. Like, I won't need to add the additional capacity on just yet. But adding the playground on and maybe the children's clinic might be a good option. Like, if I put the children's clinic there, which what this does, it provides a 5% health for all students. And then the playground adds a 10% well-being and a 5% uh, well-being for students as well. And then I've always got the ability then to add on if the school becomes slightly overloaded. Pretty good, right? So we'll kind of end this now by just filling up the rest of this. So you can now start to see that they don't want low density around here. So we'll continue the low density up here at the moment. And we'll throw some over the back over there. Let them kind of build up with all of that. Have a little fast forward, try and get some of that built. But this is a great start. So I think in the second episode then, we are going to be able to start building some farming land. And finally start farming within the city. I can't wait. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait to get this series kickstarted. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this uh, simplistic start right now. We've got us to the point where we are going to be ready to start providing the farming industry uh, to the town uh, we've had to get all this up and running because we need enough people you know living here so we can then have adequate amount of workers to work on the farm just let me know in the comment section down below is that too big for the highest density within the city or the town i should say or should i keep it to these smaller row houses if i was to, to utilize this one i wouldn't go any bigger i think that's as big as i'll go but let me know what you think in the comment section down below, boys. But it's a great start to the town. It's going to be a very interesting um, series, how it unravels and develops. And uh, if you are excited for it, smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. And until next time, guys, I will see you all soon. So, good bye. <laughs>